Hanukkah is back, which means that we have another opportunity to look at the light of Hanukkah and observe the light and all this gulot and the abundance that come with it. There was once a man who was so excited about the new mezuzot he got from Mea Shearim that he went to the local rabbi and he said, Rabbi, I got new mezuzot. And the rabbi said, let me see. He shows him the mezuzot. The rabbi looks inside and there is no cloth. There is nothing inside. And he asks him, what? You got empty cases? And the man says, no, it's not empty cases. The instructions that were inside, I didn't need them anymore, so I threw them out. As funny as this might sound, many of us sometimes do the same thing. We concentrate on the case and we throw away the instructions. Hanukkah is so much more than just going to events and parties and parties and events and donuts and dreidels. Yes, this is too, but Hanukkah is about light, spirituality, and tremendous power that comes from above, abundance that comes comes from above, that we should not be missing out. We should be looking for, and we should be staring at the light of the of the candles burning and observing the power that comes from them. The first night of Hanukkah corresponds to the, there are eight characteristics, praises that are given to God, and we say it every day by, by Shacharit in the Tefillah of Yotzer HaMeorot, and it is Poel Gevorot, Ose Chadashot, Zorea Baal Milchamot, Zorea Tzedakot, Matzmiach Yeshuot, Borei Refuot, Nora Teilot, and Adon Haniflaot. Poel Gevorot, the one who does strength, heroism, miracles, victory, who creates heroes. We know that throughout history, there are many women who are heroes in the Jewish nation. Sorry, men, but the three, the three regalim are corresponding to the three avots, but unfortunately we don't get to celebrate them fully because on all three of them we have to go to the Jerusalem to Lalot la Regel, but since the, 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 the temple was destroyed, we don't do that anymore. But Hanukkah and Purim were, were connected Rachel and Leah and had heroes who are women, Yehudit and Esther. Hanukkah has the hero of Yehudit. Yehudit was a woman, a widower, who was beautiful. She was stunning, gorgeous, and breathtaking. She was attractive, but also very, very rich. Unfortunately, she was a widower, but also a very big, righteous woman. She would go every day to the attic of her, of her house, and she would cry and pray for the entire Jewish people. At the time of the Roman Empire, there was a king by the name of Aliforni. In English, I think it's Alifornus. And Alifornus wanted to conquer Jerusalem. So, he decided to put a sage around Israel. But there was another king who came over to him and he said, just skip Jerusalem. You're not, you're not going to conquer Jerusalem. We all know. Nobody was able to ever able to go against the Jews. You're wasting your time. You're going to lose. So Alephornus took this king, tied him, and threw him into Jerusalem and put a sage around it. And he told this king, when I conquer Jerusalem, you'll be the first one to be killed. There was a sage. The people started starving. They didn't know what to do. At some point, they went to, the, to a righteous king at the time. His name was King Chizkiyahu. And the people told King Chizkiyahu, let's just give up. Why should we all die? Let's just give up and, and we'll, you know, let him conquer us and we'll pay him taxes. So Chizkiyahu said to them, you know what? In five days, if we can't achieve victory, we will give in and let Alifornos conquer us and rule over us. Yehudit, like we described before, heard about it. She came to the king and she said, can I please go to the Roman king, to the Roman emperor, and, and I will bring victory to the Jewish people. Chizkiyahu didn't tell her, no, it's not a woman should not do it. She didn't, she didn't think it was a horrible thing to do. She had the courage, she had the strength. She had the bitachon in the emunah in Hashem, that she is doing the right thing and that she is going to bring victory to the Jewish people. She leaves the sage. 
She goes to the soldiers, the Roman soldiers, and they, she says, I want to see the king. I need to see the king. She goes there. She dresses nicely. She looks stunning. The emperor looks at her and he likes her a lot. He thinks she's beautiful and also extremely smart and intelligent. And she tells him, listen, I am a woman of royalty. I also happen to be a prophet and I am a prophet that you will conquer Jerusalem. But it's not the time yet, she told him. I'll tell you when it's the, it's the right time. Meanwhile, I want you to go twice a day to the Nile and immerse twice a day and she did the same eventually he offered to marry her and of course she accepted she would give him a lot of cheese and wine until one night he got really drunk fell asleep and we all know the end of the story she takes a big sword and in the name of god she prays and she says hashem please give me victory please give me the courage and the strength to give me a miracle that I will be able to bring victory to the Jewish people. And in fact, she takes the sword and in the name of God, after a tefillah, after a prayer, she slaughters the Roman Emperor Alifornus. She puts his head in her bag and she goes outside to immerse. On the way back, she goes back to Jerusalem to King Chizkiyahu. She brings him the head. And in the morning, the Jewish people go against the Roman soldiers and they hang the head of Alifonus on top of the walls of Jerusalem. When the Roman soldiers see it, they go back to the emperor's room. They open his door, they open his blanket, and they see that the king is without a head. They all start started running away for their lives. And that's how a woman Yehudit is bringing victory to the Jewish people. She found the strength that was the first night of Hanukkah. So on this night, we all going to gather the strength and be heroes to fight for what's right. And remember that it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It doesn't matter if you're young or old, if you're married or unmarried, if you have children or you don't, if your children came out to be successful in the eyes of others or not, how much money you have in the bank, it doesn't matter. Do the right thing, be confident about it, and dwell that power from the first light of Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, Hanukkah Sameach.